Monstera adansonii, or a Swiss cheese plant. This is a really prolific grower and an awesome accent plant. The leaves have these small little windows called fenestration. Fenestration? Fenestration. I think fenestration. And it lends to a really dramatic look if you want to try to train this to grow along a wall or a trellis or even up on a post. When you get this thing home and it adjusts from the light setting that it had at the nursery to the light setting it had in the shop and then again to your specific light condition, the plant might decide that it's going to drop a couple leaves. That's totally fine and normal. You might see a few yellow leaves develop. You're just going to go and pluck them off. It's no big deal. Your plant's not dying. It's just a little stressed. I promise you it will grow new growth right away. This plant grows quickly and it's actually very easy to propagate if you want to share it with a friend. All you need to do is find a node like this right here, cut right here beneath it, put this in a vase, and you'll start to see roots in a couple of weeks. Then you can take those roots and plant them in super moist soil and let the plant take hold. Light conditions for this plant. Medium to bright ambient light is ideal. This, this guy can handle a few direct rays throughout the day. An east morning light, something nice and gentle is perfect. You might find in the hot summer months that a southern or western window exposure is a little bit too much for this guy. He'll dry up quicker and he might show you some, some crunchy leaves. That's gonna tell you that it's too much light, let's move it back a few inches. Or just rotate it into an area that doesn't get blasted quite as much. These plants have a tendency to get root bound, but there is a lot of roots happening in this pot right now, and if I were to take this out, I might see a whole spiral of roots and very little soil. When this happens, it basically just means that there's not a lot of soil that can hold on to moisture for the plant to pull off of, so when you water the plant, uh, the most of that water is just splashing off of the roots and flowing out the bottom. So the solution is giving this plant more soil medium for it to pull off of when it's time to drink. If at any point you think your plant is dying, I assure you it's not. This plant is practically a weed. It wants to be alive. You have a lot of plant here. If you have a, a section of your plant that's not doing well, you're just gonna clip it away and you're gonna move on. Don't panic. <laughs> If you are increasingly getting more and more yellow leaves, you're gonna to need to inspect your soil. I bet you there is sitting water in there. I would imagine that the soil has stayed wet for too long and you might have a little bit of rot on the ends of your roots. So what you're gonna to need to do is unpot it, massage out any of the old soil and any of the ends of the rotten roots. Replace that soil with new, fresh, nutrient-rich, dry soil and replant your plant. Root rot's not the end of the world. This is gonna give the roots a new chance at life and this plant will thrive. All right, that's the Monstera adansonii. Good luck.